for reconciliation to be successful in our country, we actually do need education. And the more and more people understand the impact of our history on Aboriginal people, and therefore that need for people to come together and learn that story, learn that education, and then combining that to come forward and move forward as a nation, it's really important. My dad is Pakana, so that's Burnie way in Tassie. Yes, I'm a Yorta Yorta man, which is sort of Achuka, Malama, um, down the Shepherd and Cobram sort of area. I've got two totems. I've got the green budgery guard um, and then the honey ant. Yeah, so I'm a uh, white duck valadon now. My totem is water. Mine's the Gunai Kurnai, which is in East Gippsland. My totem's a lizard. It is a shared history and it is Australia's history. Now we might talk of that history from an Aboriginal perspective and a lot of that history is not learnt in our schools and those sort of things. And so, you know, while we might miss an informal education, there is a strong opportunity to be able to tell that story in our own ways outside of the schooling system. It's important, I guess, for myself and the other Indigenous boys at the club to share our culture just so the broader community and our teammates especially can learn and understand our backgrounds and where we come from to help, um, help educate their families and going forward the community as, as well. A lot of people come into the AFL systems and being brought up in cities and stuff and they don't really know too much about Aboriginal culture. It's not their fault, it's, it's no one else's fault. The more we can do and the more the club can do help others understand and have more knowledge of what the past is and the history is, it's just going to make everyone a better community.